I never thought my first concert would end in sexual assault. It was a few months ago, and I convinced my parents to let me go out with Kim. Hey, Willow. Hey, girl. Kevin's gonna drive us. Hop in the back. Okay, Kim's new boyfriend aside, it was just us and no parents. I made a great case about how it was critical to my developing independence. Ooh, that's hot. We're there already? Pit stop. Apparently, we were going to have company. They seem cool, I guess. But definitely not the glow motion type. But I was going with the flow. I kept my cool. Until we made another pit stop. <laughs> we'll leave in a minute. Yeah, right. <sighs> One of the guys offered me a cup of something. It smelled horrible. I reminded Kim about the concert. Glow motion? They suck. <laughs> so now I'm in some guy's living room, getting made fun of. <sighs> Hell yeah, I'll drink that random drink. Right? Hey, I love Glow. What's your favorite song? And now the concert was coming out of some rando's phone? <sighs> Not what I was expecting. He was older than me and seemed interesting. He actually knew their songs. But he was getting real close. I tried thinking about the concert again, but thinking was kind of hard. And Kim and her boyfriend, they were becoming the couch. I was getting a little dizzy, and his hand was on the move. <sighs> yeah, no parents. Definitely weren't any adults putting a stop to this. I was on my own. Before I knew it, he was kissing me. I didn't know what to do. I just kind of froze. Then his hand was under my shirt, and it kept going. I got scared. I said no, but he pretended not to hear. We care so much about what people might think that our instinct is to always be cool. Never do anything that might be uncool. Stupid. It doesn't matter what other people think. Walking out of a bad situation is a lot cooler than getting hurt. Stop! Will! Going out with friends and hanging with older guys felt exciting at first, but I never thought someone would take advantage of me like that. I've never felt so vulnerable. Kim understood, and she felt bad. We talked about how everything got out of control as I waited for a ride home. Everyone wants to feel safe on a night out, but the pit stops and the drinking and the couch guy, those were red flags and they made me feel unsafe. And if the situation doesn't feel safe, you have every right to leave. Screw what anyone else thinks. If someone's behavior makes you uncomfortable, Tell them to stop. Standing up for yourself isn't always easy. I know. But if they don't stop, they are totally in the wrong and you are in danger. So get somewhere safe. Now I know that if I feel unsafe, not to just ignore my feelings and go with the flow, it doesn't help. And I know that being independent means being able to say no. No.